All right. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, July 13th. It is 627 in the morning. I'm up here at Alta, Utah, and I am getting ready to start a little hike up the Albion Basin Trailhead uh, to see if I can find some wildflowers growing this morning. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. There are already people on the trail ahead of me, but just beautiful so far. So let's get up there, see what we can find, see if we can get any really good photos today. Yeah. I'm just stopping to take a little break before I go zigzag up the trail here. It did just start to rain, which is kind of nice actually, but just incredible. It's a beautiful morning and the rain has stopped, but yeah, the trail continues to zigzag right up here. We're going right to this point right there. Not bad. Just got up to the lake, uh, 
kind of wandered around looking for some compositions. It is buggy. I mean, that's why I'm not sitting right by the lake giving you guys the lake view because right next to the lake, I mean, even up here, I am just getting eaten alive. You can see them all over the place, I'm sure. Um, down by the lake, it's even, <laughs> even worse. So I figured I would just sit up here for a little while, maybe see if the lake mellows out, but I'm not gonna stay by the water too long if the bugs stay this bad. Um, got some clouds back behind us here and Probably the best part about getting up and doing these hikes is being able to sit in some of these places and just drink coffee. Um, it was a really nice hike up this morning. I mean, moderately strenuous, but I also was stopping, taking a ton of pictures and carrying way too much gear as usual. Um, but I'm just gonna sit here for a little while and just enjoy, probably smack some bugs and uh, just taking the view. Um, I am the only one up here right now, which is amazing. Uh, two people just left. There was another group when I got up here that left a little while ago. I think everybody's getting kind of driven out by all the bugs, so. But with the wind blowing, the lake is really ripply, so I'm just gonna let it go and see how it goes from there. Mm. God, that's nice. Guys, so as I was sitting here, a moose just walked right past me. And it's down the trail a little ways here. So I'm staying back, but I figure why well, have a chance? I might as well get some photos of it, right? Pretty amazing. <laughs> I mean, it walked up behind me probably six yards. I mean, right behind me here. It was a little too close for comfort, to be totally honest with you. But he is just cruising around out there. All right, that was worth it. Worth getting chewed alive by all these damn mosquitoes. The sound you're hearing here, this is my sophisticated camera waterproofing system. It's a garbage bag. Does a good job. Oh man. All right, well, that was crazy. I can sit here and enjoy some coffee. So I'm probably gonna hang out for another couple minutes here. Uh, I do wanna finish my coffee. Um, it's hard to do when a moose walks past you and scares the crap out of you, but well worth it. I'm gonna drink my coffee and then try to navigate down without running into that moose again. So cheers, friends. That was insane. Super cool. Always worth it. Nice little area next to the creek to sit down and take a rest on a ski bench. Um, so there's a helicopter that is, they're either doing some work up there or they are doing a rescue. But as you can hear, it's gonna fly by again. This is like the fourth time this morning. So, so far, multiple helicopter passes, a moose, a beautiful meadow of flowers, a nice lake, beautiful, beautiful mountains. It's been a good day. 
and people on the trail. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's. All right. I'm gonna have to do this quick, regardless of whether people are walking by or not. I just don't care right now because I'm getting eaten alive. Um, so let's talk about the two different parts of this trail. The Albion Basin. If you are looking for wildflowers, that is the place to go. Um, if you drive up to the middle of the summer road, there's a parking, a parking spot, not all the way up to the uh, Secret Lake Trailhead, but right in the middle uh, is where the basin is. And the basin is just full. It's huge metals full of flowers. The upper part, the Secret Lake Trail, uh, is a beautiful view of Secret Lake. Um, it's a nice hike. It's definitely uh, more of a hike than coming up through the meadow. But if you want to see both, start at the Albion Grill and walk all the way from the bottom to the top. Most of your wildflowers are actually below me still, um, and Secret Lake is up and away. So depending on what you're looking for, if you just want to get to a lake and see a sunrise at a lake, go to Secret. Uh, sunset would be beautiful up there as well. or uh, if you want to see the wildflowers and only the wildflowers, just come up from the Albion Basin, get into the meadows. If you want to do both, I would recommend parking at the Albion Basin and walking all the way up to Secret Lake. Uh, it's just gorgeous. All right, y'all, I'm getting eaten. I'm going to get on the trail. So, right now is definitely the time to get out and get some wildflower photos. Um, it is epic and spectacular, and I would imagine you probably have about it's the first of August, essentially, um, but they'll start dying off for sure. It's really dry and it's really hot. So, I would imagine they're not gonna be around for too much longer. And if I got any good photos, this is what they look like. Check them out, y'all. Hope you enjoy, and uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Be well, my friends. Peace. Check out these photos. I hope it rains. I downpour. Flood me again. Oh, baby.